Hello, my name is Mr. Polk and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'd like to take a look at cooking the legs and the wings. And these are the ones that we took off of the chicken that I showed you how to break down into the eight parts. Uh, for the, the legs and the wings, we're going to do a, an oven roasting method and we're going to do a dry rub. So the first thing we need to do is make our spice rub. For the legs, I'm going to make a traditional, what we call in the barbecue business, a one, two, three, four. Um, whatever your unit is, you start with that. So I've got pepper. So that's one teaspoon, and then I go to the salt, that's two teaspoons, so that's the one, two, three teaspoons or a tablespoon of the garlic, and then four teaspoons or a tablespoon and a teaspoon of paprika. And you just mix all that around, and that makes your rub. And you, you can use any, you know, unit with that. I use a teaspoon. Um, if I was going to mix up a lot of this and keep it, all right, then I would have gone ahead and maybe used a cup or a quarter cup. Uh, whatever is going to work for you. For the wings, we're going to kind of spice it up a little bit. So we're just going to do like a, I only have a couple wings, so I'm just going to do a quarter teaspoon of pepper, quarter teaspoon of salt, and then about a half teaspoon of, the, of uh, garlic granulated, and then paprika. And then I'm going to throw in like a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And then what's special is I'm going to put in a tablespoon of baking powder. And I, I know, it, it doesn't make any sense. Why am I putting baking powder in a rub? Okay, but baking powder is going to have a drying factor. And we want to do our wings in the oven, but we want them to be super, super crispy. So the baking powder is what is going to give it that dryness. Okay, that's going to help dry the skin out. Because if the skin is wet, um, it's not going to crisp up. So now let's take a look at putting the dry rub on the, the chicken and getting it in the oven. So now we have our rub and we have our chicken legs and you want to go through and you want to dry them. Okay, You want the skin to be as dry as possible. All right, Even if you dried them before you want to dry them again. And then you're going to just coat them in the dry rub. Now this amount of dry rub I'm not going to save, so I can do it right in the bowl. If you made a large amount of dry rub and you were going to save it, you always have to pull out the amount that you're going to use because whatever you pull out to use, if you don't use it, it has to be thrown away. Once I put my hand in the rub and I put it over top of the chicken and it falls in here, this is now contaminated, obviously, so I can't save it. You can't just pour this back in the container or anything like that. So make sure you just take out what you think you're going to use. All right, and then you go ahead and do that to all of them. And you don't have to overcoat it. You just want to get just a nice little rub on there. And then that's going to go on a cooling rack. And I like to bake like this a lot. This is going to go in a hot oven, like 425, between 425 and 450. And the heat, I want it to crisp up the skin, and I want it to go around the product. So if I just put it on the tray, the tray, the bottom of the chicken won't crisp up because of the moisture is going to lay down there. Here, the fat as it cooks is going to drip down below the tray and allow the chicken to get the air and stay extra crispy. Okay, so now let's take a look at the wings. The wings are the same as the legs in that you want to make sure that they're dry. Okay, um, That's what's going to give you the crispiness. Um, if your chicken isn't dry, uh, and it's, it's wet when it goes in the oven, all that heat that, that's coming from the oven um, going to the skin is going to first have to dry the skin out, then crisp it. So if it goes in dry, then the heat attacks it right away and gets it crispy. Um, so this was the, the rub that we made. And remember, it's unique because it has baking powder, but baking powder is a drying agent, and it's going to dry the skin. So you're just going to put a little rub on there, uh, just a little bit. And you can see how even in the camera, it, it looks really dry. And I'm going to do the same method that I did before in that I put them on the screens for the same reason. The, and all the fat that, re, that comes out of that renders out of this is going to drip down. If I put them on the flat tray, the fat is going to lay in a pool and create the bottom side of the wing. It's going to be wet and it's not going to crisp. So we're going to go ahead and put these and a, an oven anywhere between 425 and 450, and we'll take a look and see how they come out. All right, let's look at the oven cam here, and we'll take a look at our legs, and oh, they're looking good. Got a nice color to them, crispness. You can tell that they're, they're pretty much done because 
the skin pulls away, you get the darkness on the bone, they just have a really nice look to them. But you can check them with your instant read thermometer. And you want to go in right close to the bone, through the thickest part, okay? And then you're looking for minimum chicken temp, and I'll hold it up for the camera. Minimum chicken temp is 165, okay? However, because this is dark meat, as we learned about in the lessons where it's the legs where the animal is moving, um, it has a stronger development of the, the myoglobin, we're really looking for this to get close to 180, okay? So right now I'm just pushing the, the, the cusp of 180, so these are pretty much ready to go, okay? So what I'll do is I'll pull those out of the oven, but before I do that, let's take a look at our, our wing dings and see how our wings are doing. So we'll close those up. Here's our wingy wingies. Oh, for being in the oven, these are looking great. And I'll give them a little flip. Um, they're starting to crisp up, which is obviously what you want on a wing. But you notice that by putting them on the screen, they're not sitting in their own fat. And when they sit in the fat, that liquid that you can see in the bottom of the screen, that's what's going to cause them to not get crispy. The fact that the air is going around it is really what makes it work. Okay, so let's take a look at how we'll plate these. Okay, so now that we have our legs out of the oven, we have our wings out of the oven, last step is to put together some hot sauce. And you can put anything you want on your wings. I'm going to go kind of classic today. I'm going to go with about a half cup of hot sauce. Okay, whatever you like, whatever you prefer. And then about a quarter cup, two ounces of butter, melted. And then I, some people, it's just what you like. Some people, that's it. They're like, that's all I put on my wings. I like to put just about a tablespoon of honey gives it a little back flavor and then I also like to put in about a tablespoon or so of ranch dressing. Some people put the ranch powder in, I'll just throw the dressing in and you whisk all that together and again there's everyone has there's tons of recipes but this one just gives it a really nice balance and then the classic is just to go ahead and throw your wings right in there and just mix them up okay I've got my nice white jacket on, so I'm not going to do the trick where you put two bowls together and just shake them, but uh, I'll go ahead and toss them. And we're just going to toss them right around in the hot sauce. Okay, give them a nice little bath in there. Oh, they're looking good. I wish you could smell the hot sauce. And now we plate. So for the legs, I just put them on a plate. I do the little trick where you put one over the other so they look a little higher. And then what I like to do is uh, I like to take some honey, some honey, honey, and I just put a little bit over the top just to give it a little extra. And then for your wings, I have this set up. Uh, you can put your blue cheese or your ranch. Um, I've got my celery and my carrots. And then I'm just going to lay the wings out. Okay, and um, these are great. I mean, they, they have just a, a beautiful look to them. Um, you can see the steam coming off. Beautiful color. I mean, this, this looks like a great order if you were at a restaurant and you just ordered a small order of wings right here. This is where it's at. Put one more on there. And there you go. So not only did we show how to break down the chicken, you now use some of the parts and you're a way to bake them um, and make them look like they came out of the deep fryer, but they didn't. So thank you for cooking with me today. And I can't wait to cook with you real soon right here in Mr. Polk's kitchen.